links that we've given you, and with that sort of foundation, we move into the most important piece. And that's sort of a checklist for maximizing the force of your subject lines. Now, the problem with the checklist is that it sounds, uh, it sounds uh, trite. This is a pretty in-depth piece. There are probably 60 slides. I'm going to move rapidly with lots of examples. The value of the word checklist is that it, it promises something actionable, and that's what's at the heart of everything we're doing today. It's not enough for our scientists to discover something new. It's not enough for our, our analysts to craft it or our writers to put it into some sort of entertaining format. The goal here isn't to entertain you and the goal here isn't to impress you. The goal is to give you something that you can take back and use that will make a difference immediately in your results. Marketers, you have a tough job. You're being, you're being harried with frantic deadlines and bosses are continually demanding more and people trying to fix product problems with marketing instead of going back and innovating their, their, the essence of the product itself. And no matter what you do, it seems never to be enough. And <laughs> no matter how hard you work, there's never enough time in the day. You need to be able to take and learn from here something that will make your day easier tomorrow. And that's where we're going next. Let me just take you to this third key principle to intensify the force of the process level value proposition in our subject lines. We can employ a useful set of research-based criteria. We're distilling four elements that will give your subject line more force. These same elements drive the force of all value propositions across all categories in every business.